Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Stitched. Previously, we escaped the basement into a nice situation. So we have to think. We now have a plank. Mm. Oh! So the mouse. Where is the mouse going? Follow me. Okay. Are you trying to show me something? Hell of here? Is the mouse trying to leave me? Well, we do have a password for it now. So that's one thing. If I find a password, access to floor. I don't remember the password. Elevator F1 code. Lency. <laughs> Congratulations! Hmm, where to go? Well, maybe the only floor we can access. Maybe that's where we're gonna go. Like, here's your choices. That's it. <laughs> oh well. I guess we have to go where the, the floor collapsed, or maybe we have to go somewhere else. We do have a wooden board. There was a place that needed one, but I I don't bloody remember where it was. Go away! Kathy. There you are, Kathy. I felt so lonely without you. Say, you saw Teddy, right? Isn't he adorable? <laughs> no. You know, I may need those speed pills. Oh my god, I was so close. If I didn't pop that speed pill at the last minute, I would have not made it. I finally lost her. Thank goodness. Have we lost her? Or has it already begun? I don't know. It's a mystery to us all. I don't think this is the place of the plank. This needed something else. I believe. It needs to unstuck that door. I can't remember what the plank was needed. It's hard to keep track in my head. Are we slower with these boots on? No. Oh? Oh? Hey there, Fi. Fi? Fo fum? Hi! Do you have any Fred? What do you need the Fred for? For Mom and Dad. I found a way to bring them back. From where? That's a secret. Oh, this must be a secret ending. Oh no. So have you found them? You're just stitching their body parts together, aren't you? I'm curious, aren't you afraid of the dolls? I'm strong and smarter than them. Only Teddy is scary. Hmm. Stronger. Do I really not have any more Fred? Hmm. If anything, it just might be I don't have like enough to actually exchange any. I sure hope worst case scenario I can backtrack and get them all the Fred. If you can't, then you know. That's that's gonna be really annoying. Yeah, she patched up the hole. Looks like the hole that fell in got covered. Finally, the second floor. The silver key should be within the surveillance area somewhere on this floor. New objective. Um, get the key. I'm assuming. Stock Holmes is a saint. Without him, I wouldn't be able to turn my life around. I would still be begging for food on the street. He changed all that. He gave me a gerb. He gave me a shelter. He gave me hope. I'm forever in his debt. And I got killed by a giant teddy bear. Ah! 
Oof. Come on, grab it. Don't be afraid. Anyway. Oof. Just wine. The only thing you should fear is that waste of alcohol. Nope. Okay, we're in the next room. The chart depicts company stocks slowly plummeting in the last nine months. No, kids don't buy toys anymore! What do you mean they don't buy toys? I wonder why. They all had some kind of thing called cell phones and video games. Well, uh, that doesn't make sense. Kids love toys. Uh, make more dolls and riggedy hands. Sir, they don't some work. We've got to step up our game. Oh, what do you think of mine? Kids like that Freddy thing. Something like Six Nights at Fradster's or something? We'll make a giant anatomical teddy bear. It'll be a hit. One in every one in every house. What could go wrong? No one's seen the movie Jurassic Park. Could be expected to go bankrupt in eight months due to mismanagement. Factory's tall quality has steadily declined in recent months. Isaac Stockholm's pride prevents him from realizing his blunders. Owner's obsession with imaginary ideals leads company closer to its demise. I gotta make the perfect doll! Stockholm's doll factory was well known for supporting the poor and homeless by providing them with jobs and housing. Isaac Stockholm's is a visionary whose actions are for the good of the public. I never knew that father was such a person. Maybe I've wrongly judged him all these years. Play me the killer dolls. Then you rightfully judged him. An unfinished book. It seems like the author was unable to find the motivation to continue. Or they're dead. One of the two. So, let's investigate the rest of this room. Before we get a little too greedy. This is Mary Lee Scarlet. She's rather beautiful. Okay. We have two doors over there. Let's go in the room that the doll ran into, because that's a smart idea. The black text on the door says, Keep out. Knock mm. on the door. Nothing. Mm. Just open the door. It's fine. It's not a trap. It's a trap! Restroom. This looks like a good place to go hang out. Nice clean restroom. A large broom. Now we can clean up this mess. Hey, no, no. Here. They're all locked. I just spent blood. Hide in the clothes. Nope, just hate your life. That's what we're gonna do. We're just we're gonna hate our lives. We're just hating our lives right now. This is the thing. Yep, we're good. we're hating our lives. Was that really worth it? All that for a broom. Well, we're okay now, I guess. We'll just do the whole thing. We let the thing recharge. Room 205. This is okay. I'm okay with this. This is fine. It's all blocked off there. Also equally locked. Like my heart. Um, there's blood over there. Another unusual room. Hi. Thanks for the help Ms. earlier. Catherine. Hello. It's good to see that you are safe. Same to you too. You seem to be lost in thoughts. May I ask what is on your mind? Oh yes, do you happen to know anything about this place? Hmm. I believe this is a joint room. To open the locked door ahead, 
The layout of both areas need to be the same. How strange. Anyway. I have some questions. Not at all. This room. This is a puzzle test one's intelligence, designed specifically by Mr. Stockholms. Many a lot of free time. Maybe he should have been saving his company. Ah, father does have a strong love for puzzles. He would often think of several several in his free time and persuades me to solve them. Persuades? I found them frustrating. I felt like a lab rat. But looking back on it now, I think he was just trying to help me develop complex thinking. I have some questions. Wrong one! Open the door. You might lay out the left room to match out of the right room. I can't remember what game had a puzzle like this that was exactly like this. Survivors. I saw a few survivors, but they were attacked by dolls. Well, what happened to them? Gone. Why didn't you help them? I regretfully cannot. I am not one who is capable of fending off those dolls. A little convenient. We're collecting Fred. Young miss, please refrain yourself from associating with that boy. No good will come out of it. Why do you say that? Because intention is far from pure. See, I suspect that. So you're like, I'm gonna fix par my parents. I'm pretty sure like their corpses in there or something. Some paints in the crate. It could just be an Easter egg. Like, not necessarily an ending change. Close that window. Boy, it'd be nice if it wasn't so dark. Take a bottle. This has got to be pushed up. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. I can fix this. We're gonna do this in the most convoluted way possible. Shut up. Good. Great. Great. Now this has got to go. Spire whip. Use the broom. So at least that came into use. Paint the bear. Okay, they have a chair there. What else? What else? All red wine. We add the wine over here. <laughs> we could taste the wine. Why should be poison? Nice. Take that. Now there's something over here that's a little different. I'm trying to figure what this is. A sturdy wooden sign, huh? Take that. Sign placed. I uh, and I placed it the wrong way. Hmm. Nice. Nice. All right. So what is left? Oh, light. Got to turn on the light. Turn on. Much better. Hmm. How strange. Strange, both rooms look the same. Maybe we both have to be standing somewhere. Am I missing something? Maybe I should consult with the doll. Huh? Told you. Impressive work, Miss Catherine. Let's go. Dang. I'm one impatient chipmunk. 
Ready to go. I am sorry. I'm unable to, for I need some rest. Huh? But you're a doll. The internal mechanisms of my body are rusty, and cause me to lock up every now and then. Okay. I'll meet you on the third floor, then. I will see you there. Please be safe. What should be the opposite? Like, don't give him any spools of Fred. Just get by without it. Can you imagine? Like, that's your ending for me. Bear? I'm very sorry for ruining your day. Just leave me alone. I know you have a grisly temper. Dang, you really do. It's finally gone. Now, how do I? What? What? It's on. It's on a peninsula. Whatever. I didn't want you spool anyway. Uh, I feel so dizzy. That was quick. Catherine needs food badly. Ow! I need to lie down. Let's go for the low-hanging fruit. Ah! Ain't coming. What happened to this place? This is what happens when you take a random nap, so I'm just saying. The Mystery of the Human Anatomy by Eric Wyatt. I don't care. Doc Holmes has gone mad, falsely promising the homeless a new life. He's just using it for his own personal gain. A pair of running shoes. Okay. What's really for running? That helps with blood. That's better. Now we can go fast. Seriously, it was getting annoying. Need to retrieve the silver key before moving further. There gonna be jump shoes. You can know, like jump these gaps. We know what we're doing is wrong, and we queued on for all the sake for our blind ambitions. And even after succeeding, we bit more than we can chew. This is our punishment for toying with human's life. This is the end that we deserve. Life. Security. Whoops. Office room 208, also locked. <gasps> hey, mister, are you alright? They're dead. Thank goodness, he's still breathing. Wait a minute, what? It won't be for long. Mr. Bear is gonna come in. <coughs> the noise, the dolls! Please wake up. Get away. <coughs> Leave me alone. Because you too are dead. If I just... Stay away from me, you freak! I... I... I'm sorry. I run. Where are we hiding? These are hiding spots. That's a hiding spot there. But it's just, I managed to like reach it just as the thing flipped over to game over. The door bursts open. Two large dolls rush inside. One tackles Catherine to the ground while he ever makes quick work of the injured man. The doll playfully stops at Catherine as the girl struggles for freedom. After a few minutes, the creature slams his giant foot in Catherine's hand. Okay, it's not a hiding spot. Never mind.
I'm sure he's fine. I left him to die. Why? Why am I always so weak? I should keep moving. Huh? Huh? Ponder is everywhere. Well, there's a security room. This must be a surveillance room. And that must have been a surveillance guy. Oh? Oh? A security footage. <gasps> the dark figure's controlling dolls. She's the one behind this whole nightmare. More video footage. Spooked. I feel like there's dolls wondering. Hey, what's up? It's a little weird. The guy's gone, but you're here. Hey, Fi, did you see your man laying around here? I promised my room to meet Mom and Dad. Oh, no. He was the one who promised us a new place to live. You found your mom and dad? Not yet, but close. I just wanted to be there when my parents get back. Can I see your room? Soon. Let me collect enough Fred first. Did you find your dad? I think I'm close. That's good. Family needs to stick together. Just need five more. How many do we have? So you need three more. Okay, we did see one in the outer room. That's about it. Gotta go fast. That's where we came in. Some notes there I kinda want. Wait! Odd, wasn't there a door here? No, not anymore. First the homeless, now the children as well. Stockholm's where is your compassion? I say because that thing is still active even when I'm reading stuff. Oh. oh. Composition. That was important. Go, go. Faster. A drawing of Nor being chased by four wolves. A puzzle. What's this? The wolves are glowing. Anna, Lena, and Claire, small and fast as young hares. They are always seen together, loving, caring for one another. A well-made figure of Mary Lee Scarlet. She's holding two pistols. Oh. Oh. No, another bomb of the statue. Change is necessary for improvement. Without it, we are bound to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Okay. See, this is office motivationals. Change is better for improvement. That's why we're changing your income. You're all getting a 50% pay cut. <laughs> a storybook titled Dawn and Dusk. Dawn arrives at 6 a.m. to banish Dusk. She's neither late nor early. She disappears 12 hours later, letting the insane dusk roam free, only to return at six once more to continue the endless cycle. A drawer with a four-digit password combination. Huh? huh? Let me, me double-check. So there's four wolves. Three bunnies. No. <laughs> Where's the doll? Why 
One, two, three, four. Woo! Catherine obtains a silver key. Yes, two more keys to go. Man, we gotta go to that office space. That's not gonna be fun. New objective. How do I get that one friend? I keep wondering about that. Like, it's there. But there's no... way to get it. Let me save and use a clarity pill. Maybe that'll tell me. Dang blood. Yeah, no, seriously, what? Anyway, let's get going. Catherine, I promise. Everything will be better soon. You keep saying that. You boast about your project then disappear for weeks. What about me, father? Am I not important to you? You are, I... Catherine walks off. There's some spool. Forget, get the loot. I take it you're not supposed to step in the blood. Nope, nope, the bear just comes out and eats you. I was wrong. I was terribly wrong. God, we're playing out only now. I want that loot! Now run! Which way do I run? Not this way, oh no. I'm still not sure where I'm going. This, this is, this is kind of doomed. Catherine rushes for the door after it opens. The door then shuts right tight before the bear could follow her. I hope I can come back here and get some good loot. After a minute of attempting to break the door, the bear walks away with a scornful expression, seeing that its effort is of no use. Thank goodness it's gone. But the loot! Huh? Ah. Those stairs should lead to Father's research. And to find the key to unlock this gate. New objective. <laughs> 